India, a land of many mysteries and fascinations, a home to an amazing wealth of wisdom, culture, and spirituality. Namaste from Brigham Young University, Hawaii. Here at BYU Hawaii, we bring together cultures from all around the world to study and to grow together. As students coming from India, it is important to understand the cultural differences you can expect to encounter while studying at BYU Hawaii. You will be studying with students from all over the world with very different cultural diversities. Understanding their point of view and how they interact with others will help you adopt your new surroundings and hopefully feel comfortable. The purpose of this video is to help you understand the culture of BYU Hawaii even before you arrive. It is a great opportunity to pursue an education here as we gain insights that will help us achieve our goals as we build towards our future endeavors, building in both secular and spiritual knowledge. President Stephen C. Wheelwright, president of BYU Hawaii, said that we are here to prepare students of character and integrity who can provide in their families, their communities, in their professions, and in building the kingdom of God. Using the skills we attain here, we can go forth into the world and reach goals we never before thought possible. Acharya Devo Bhava. Indian culture considers the Guru to be ever respected and remembered and treated with reverence like God. Because of this belief, I never question my teachers in my school years. Professors at BYU Hawaii are here to help you succeed and want you to gain the best educational experience you can. BYU students are encouraged to ask questions both in and out of the classroom as communication is more direct than you are probably used to. Let's see an example of a classroom setting. All right, class, great discussion. Um, just don't, remember, don't forget uh, that your chapter eight is due um, by Monday or at least have it read and have those questions in the back of the review answered. And also before I leave, don't, re don't forget that your midterm will also be due the 10th, five o'clock in my office. I have a box that you can just put them in. Yeah, Tyler. Um, Brother Rob, the syllabus says that the paper is actually due on the 11th. The 11th, did I? That's right, I did say the 11th. Um, so the 11th, I think that's a Tuesday. If you could bring them in by five o'clock, um, and also don't forget to have them before, um, don't turn them in late because if you do, we'll be dropping your grade, one letter grade, so don't forget. All right, any more questions? All right, class dismissed. Tyler, hey, is that not rude to come to your professor? No, in class, we're pretty direct, um, so if you feel like you need to, you know, say something to, to the professor, raise your hand and say it. If, he, if he's wrong, like if his syllabus was wrong, you can correct him. Really? It'll be all good. Oh, it was never like that at home. Oh, really? Yeah, we never cared to our professors, but thanks for that, Taylor. Yeah, yeah. anytime. Culture among Indians dictates reserved and formal relationships between men and women. Men and women lead largely separate lives during their school life. There is not much interaction between them. We are very formal in our behaviors with our friends. At BYU Hawaii, you will find people that come from expressive cultures. They are very open about their feelings, tell you what is on their mind, and may get in your personal space. This is how they show that they appreciate all that you are and want to give you the same level of togetherness that they would expect from others in their home countries. Remember that we are all coming here from different ways of thinking and acting, and it is perfectly all right to tell someone they are making you uncomfortable. Hey, I haven't seen you all week. How you been? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome. Oh, are you excited about the dance? I'm so excited. Me and my friends, actually also beforehand, we're going to get some food, so you should totally come. Uh, I, I will definitely think about it. Okay, well, I'll see you then. Okay. Within families and kinship groupings, there are many distinctions of hierarchy. Several other kinship relations involve formal respect. Even among young siblings in a household, there is constant acknowledgement of age differences. Young siblings never address an older sibling by name, but rather by respectful terms of elder brother or elder sister. At BYU Hawaii, we show respect to the faculty and staff by referring to them as brother or sister, like for example, Brother Smith or Sister Jones. Other than that, most people call each other by their first names, regardless of age or their social hierarchy back in their native lands. We are all on equal footing here, and though we may call people by their first names, we still treat them with respect and understanding. Good morning, Mr. Laban. 
Uh, my name is Arti. I'm a new hire. Hi, Arti. I'm your supervisor. Please don't call me Mr. Levin. I want you to call me Carlton. Are you sure? Yes. Actually, I want you to be feel comfortable here. Okay. Because in my culture, I'm not used to calling people by their first name, especially superiors, so it might take me a few days to get used to that idea. That's great. Thank you. India pays much emphasis on education. Education to Indians is what land is to Polynesians. They're expected from their kindergarten to excel in their studies. For example, the world's majority of doctors are Indians. Students at BYU Hawaii find strength in helping each other to succeed. You will find that many are more than willing to study together and help each other understand the material taught in classes. We all want to see everyone reach their maximum potential, and working together can strengthen that goal. We are not competing for the highest grade, only striving to do the best we can. BYU Hawaii culture will be quite different than what Indian students are used to, but with patience and understanding, he or she can thrive here and have one of the best experiences of their lives.